my hands say hello my hands say hello every time i see my friends my hands say hello i see my friends hello thank you for joining me for another story time today i was thinking have you ever wanted to be something that you're not like an astronaut you can be one later huh yeah, or a unicorn, or a princess. Oh, you are a princess and a prince. But sometimes we want to be something we're not, right? Not all the time, just sometimes. Well, in today's story, my friend Jeremy gets to be something that he wasn't before. It is called How I Became a Pirate by Melinda Long and David Shannon. How I Became a Pirate. All right. How I Became a Pirate. Let's see how Jeremy Jacob became a pirate. Pirates have green teeth if they have any teeth at all i know about pirates because one day i was at the beach building a sandcastle and minding my own business when a pirate ship sailed into view i knew what it was because its flag had a skull and crossbones and because I could hear the pirates singing, hey ho, blow the man down. And they were a little off key. I tried to tell dad, but he was busy putting up the beach umbrella. I tried to tell mom, but she was busy slathering my baby sister with sunblock. So I went back to my sandcastle but I kept my eye on the pirate ship. By then, they were rowing to shore. When they landed, the head pirate climbed out of the boat and yelled, Ahoy there, matey! Be this the Spanish main! No, I said. This is North Beach. Shiver me timbers! The pirate said, we must have taken a wrong turn at Bora Bora. Oh dear. He walked around my sandcastle and he looked at the moat and he yelled back to his crew. He's a digger, he is, and a good one to boot. A good one to boot, the others agreed. What be your name, matey? The head pirate asked, Jeremy Jacob, sir, I told him. Well, Jeremy Jacob, he said, you're looking at Braidbeard and his crew. We've been needing a digger like yourself. We've a trust of treasure to bury. Hey, treasure, the others shouted. You're coming with us, Braidbeard told me. I didn't think Mom and Dad would mind as long as I got back in time for soccer the next day. Should you go with pirates, even if you're going to be back for soccer the next day? I wouldn't go with pirates. <sighs> Must be a pretend story. And that! how I became a pirate. As soon as we were on board, Braidbeard showed me the chest of gold and jewels. Go find yourself a safe place for this here treasure. It's high time we're off, he announced. We're off, they all shouted. And then we set sail. There was plenty to do on board. 
The pirates taught me to sing sea shanties. The louder, the better. And to say real pirate stuff like landlubber and scurvy dog. By dinner time, I could speak pirate perfectly. I also learned pirate manners. Do you think pirates have good manners? Let's find out. <gasps> Braidbeard pounded his fist on the table and yelled, Down the hatch, me laddies! Down the hatch! We all shouted. And Braidbeard gulped his food and said, Hand over the meat! The meat! We all roared, and nobody told us to finish our spinach. There wasn't any. And nobody told us to chew up our carrots. They weren't even allowed on the ship. And we talked with our mouths full, and nobody said please or thank you. Hmm. Do you talk with your mouth full? After dinner, I tried to teach the pirates to play soccer. Braidbeard kicked the ball and yelled, Arg, sucker! Arg, sucker! The crew yelled. Then everybody dove for the ball at once and it rolled right off the deck. After it, me hearties! Braidbeard commanded. After it? We all whispered. We fought over who would go get the ball, but it didn't matter anyways because a shark came along and swallowed it in one gulp. By now it was past my bedtime, but nobody tells pirates to go to bed or to take a bath or to brush your teeth. Maybe that's why their teeth are green. Pirates sleep with one eye open just in case. And they don't change into pajamas unless they want to. Pirates don't do anything they don't want to, except for maybe swapping the decks. I wanted to be a pirate forever. Doesn't have to use please or thank you. Doesn't have to eat any vegetables. Doesn't have to brush his teeth. Doesn't have to go to bed. But then, when I found out what else they don't do? Hmm. When I couldn't stay awake any longer, I asked Braidbeard to tuck me in and read me a story. Tuck you in, he bellowed. Pirates don't tuck. No tucking, the crew cried. And the only thing they had to read was a map. Don't you have any books? I asked. Braidbeard looked confused. Books? I didn't even bother to ask about a good night kiss. Does he like it now? Does that look comfy? They don't brush their teeth. Do you think he has bad breath? <laughs> it wasn't easy to fall asleep without a story, but I was finally dozing off when... A storm broke, thunder boomed, and lightning flashed, and I tried to hide under the covers as waves slammed up against the ship, but I kept falling out of my hammock. I couldn't find anyone in the cabin. They were all on deck. Lower the sails, Braidbeard shouted. Bend down the hatches. Everybody ran around yelling and lowering and battening. And nobody had time to sit close and tell me it would be over soon. Nobody even noticed me. I decided that I didn't want to be a pirate anymore. Just then, flash, crash, crack, lightning hit the mast and split it right down the middle. What'll we do now? Yelled one of the pirates. We'll have to turn back, called another. But the treasure, hollered Braidbeard. Where will we bury the treasure? 
I stepped forward. Maybe I know. Oh, maybe I can help. I shouted over the wind. I think I know the perfect digging spot. When the storm was over, we rowed back to shore and buried the chest. We drew a map so we could find the treasure again, but I don't think I'll need it. Jeremy Jacobs' backyard. Where did they bury the treasure? Do you have treasure in your backyard? After that, the pirates repaired the ship and got ready to set sail. Before they left, Braidbeard handed me a flag and said, You make a fine pirate, Jeremy Jacob. Guard that treasure well. We'll be back to get it soon enough. Soon enough, the crew repeated. And if you ever need us, Beard, Braid Beard added, just run the Jolly Roger up yonder pole. Yonder pole, the others shouted. And maybe I will, but not today. Not today. I have soccer practice. I wonder what the name of his team is. Hmm. Thanks for joining me. The end, the end. The end, the end. The end, the end, the end, the end. The end, the end, the end, the end. The end. See you later.